So again, this is how to choose the right video income stream to add to your business. The keywords there are right, so choose the right one, and then your business. These are gonna be unique to you. For those who haven't met me before, my name's Andy Traub. I specialize in teaching people how to use things like Zoom, this platform, video conferencing, for coaching, consulting, webinars, uh, just one-on-one -on -one meetings, uh, individual selling. Uh, if you have an appointment, uh, you wanna meet someone via video conference to sell. If you wanna lead group discussions, Bible studies, book studies, uh, study groups for school, whatever it might be. Zoom's a great platform for that. Uh, Masterminds, another example. Uh, I also specialize in teaching people how to use Facebook Live, how to get confident doing things like Facebook Live and YouTube. And uh, I've been doing that for, I've been self-employed for 10 years and have really dug into the video stuff in the last few years myself. Today we're going to talk about multiple streams of income. And I would just encourage you, um, you know, one income stream is great. So don't look, don't overlook that. One income stream is great. Two is 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 better, right? Three is better. Four is better. But all those have to be maintained. And today we're going to talk about how to choose the right one because more is not always the best answer. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is go to the chat and tell me which one of these three. Actually, I want you to rank them: one, two, three, three, two, one, two, one, three. These are the three biggest obstacles people have to doing video. Number one, they say I don't have enough time. Number two is I don't understand the technology. Or number three is I don't have the talking points. I'm not sure about my content. I'm not sure about what to do videos on. Uh, or when the video camera turns on, I suddenly sound stupid. I don't know how to talk. So go ahead and number them. So, um, and, and give me all three. What are your obstacles in, in that order? So Andy's is number one. Andy, what's your number two, number three? So for instance, uh, if it was technology, then time, then talking points, you would do two, one, three. Okay, so Dan is talking points. Um, time and then technology, okay? Mike is technology, time, then the talking points. So uh, in Mike's example, he feels good about his content. He's not so sure about the technology. All right, great. Yeah, I'd love it if you just go ahead and type in the chat uh, what yours is. This is gonna be important as we move forward. So if you haven't typed in the chat there, your, your order. Time, technology, and talking points. What are your, what are your main obstacles there? Uh, let's see here. Need a couple more. Great. All right, awesome. Thanks, Greg. All right, thanks for all those who answered. So I wanna to talk to you about how to define yourself and position yourself as an expert, and then we're gonna talk about which income stream to choose. So I call this my expert formula for success. The first and the E is to excel at what you teach. If you wanna be seen as an expert online or in person, uh, then you need to get real focused on getting better at what you know. You need to be you know, reading all the industry news about something. Every bit of news I see about online video, I'm consuming because that is what I specialize in. And so if you wanna be seen as an expert, then you need to be getting better at what you do. That is the first and foremost thing you should be doing, not going out and finding people, um, you know, not what, what's my price for things. No, you need to get better at what you do first. And I say that, it sounds obvious, but a lot of people come to me and say, Andy, what should my business be about? And I think to myself, God help you, because I can't. Because you need to, you need to do something that connects with your passion. You need to get really good at it. For instance, there's someone on this call I know that has been in the recruiting business for you know, longer than I've had children, right? And so they know that business, but they're also continuing to educate themselves and make themselves better. The second and the, the X part is to expect anonymity in the beginning. Don't come out of the gate online or in person and expect people to flock to you. In the beginning, you need to expect that not a lot of people are gonna watch your videos. Not a lot of people are gonna be begging for your services. I hope they are, but usually that's not the case. But the great part when you expect anonymity is that's the time when you can get better. That's the time you can screw up and nobody's gonna scream and say, you know, you messed up because not that many people are watching. So first, you need to excel at what you teach. Second, you need to expect anonym anonymity coming out of the gate. And that's okay, right? It's okay, it actually is a gift in the beginning that not that many people are watching. The P in expert formula for success is to solve specific problems. You need to be able to tell your customer, here's what I help you with. Because if you're at a Halloween party, if you're at a Thanksgiving party, if you're anywhere, you're in line at the grocery store and they say, what do you do? You need to be able to say, I help people this. I help businesses this. I help moms this. I help kids this. I help, and then what problem do you solve? If you can't do that, you're not an expert. 
and you're, you know, you're, you're vague. And so get real clear about the expert, why you're an expert, because you solved this problem. The next E is to explain solutions using systems and formulas. So you need to be able to have a framework. So if they say, okay, great, you helped me find the right job. How do you do that? Well, we match up your personality and then we've got a network of people. You've got to have a system in place. You've got to have something we say, oh, we don't make this up as we go along, right? That's not an effective business. It's not something that someone's going to look at you and say, wow, they're an expert because they wing it and they get lucky every time. No, you have to have a system. And let me give you a quick tip. You get to make up your own system, right? Yes, it has to be proven. Yes, it has to work. But understand that to be an expert, just name your system. Call it whatever you want to call it. But you have to have a system or a process or a formula that you walk people through. Next is repeat, repeat, repeat. If you notice the people that you look up to as thought leaders, as teachers, they don't come up with new content every day. Now, they have a different spin on an old idea or their original idea, maybe, but they are repeating the same concepts again and again and again. Put in the chat, have you, have you ever heard of Patrick Lencioni? He's an author. He has this book called The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, another one, Death by Meetings. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal communicator. I don't know if he writes his own books or not, but I think they're allegories or something. They're stories that communicate his points is what they are. They're just great, great books. And I cannot imagine how many times he has spoken about the five dysfunctions of a team. So he has this core teaching and he just repeats, 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 repeats. Patrick Lencioni, phenomenal author. Uh, just look up the five dysfunctions of a team. Okay. Uh, but that, that's my favorite one. Uh, the other one is um, Getting Naked, which is a book about uh, business consulting. Great, great book, right? But he just repeats himself all the time. Think of yourself like you're Adele or you're the Rolling Stones. How many times have they sung the same songs? But are people complaining? No, because it works. So if you want to be an expert, you have to be willing to repeat yourself a lot. All right. And this actually should take the burden off of you. All right. The last is take care of people. Remember, in whatever you're doing, it's about the individual because an individual can ruin you or an individual can be the key to success, right? So that's the expert formula for success. I want to just make sure you keep that in the back of your mind as a lot of you are looking to position yourself as an expert in something. So here are the three factors you need to consider as you now we move into how do you choose your income streams? We're going to talk about that in about two minutes. You have to factor in your personality, your platform size, and your business goals. For instance, if you are uh, very introverted or you're not you know, really in tune emotionally with people, then you want to do uh, platforms that don't, or, or income streams that don't require you to sit down and give counseling to individuals because you don't like to sit down with individuals or you're not you know, super emotionally connected to them. That doesn't mean you can't help people. It just means you have to make sure you're doing the right kind of income stream. Platform size. I would not encourage you to try to do a webinar if you have 12 people on your email list because that webinar is going to have you and one other person, which is actually called a coaching session. <laughs> so depending on your platform size, you're going to have to adjust your income stream. The last is your business goal. Do you want to meet with people one-on-one -on -one or do you want to do you know, mass education? These are all factors you have to consider when you're looking at your income stream. But here's the core lesson for all of us, and we're going to talk about the income streams on the next slide. Be the guru, expert, or specialist that you were made to be. Do not beat yourself up that you are not fill in the blank, or you're not more like fill in the blank. You're not more like fill in the blank because you are you. I believe we're all given God-given talents and personalities for a reason, but you have to be the best version of yourself. Be the guru, expert, or specialist that you were made to be. If you're trying to be like somebody else, you're going to suck at it because you can't be like them. You can only be like you. So be the best version of you. All right. So here are three different personality strengths or types. I want you to type in the chat. And actually, I think the next slide. Yep, the next slide is income stream. Sorry. So type in the chat. What are, what's your most dominant personality strength? Are you mostly detailed? Are you mostly social? Are you mostly emotional? Right? These are not, you don't win if you get in the right order. <laughs> right? There's no right order. Right? Uh, for me, it's two, three, one. That's mine. Two, three, one. All right. That's mine. Two, three, one. 
All right, go ahead and type in the chat what you are. This is gonna help me, one, two, three. All right, thanks, Dan. Detail social, okay, great. All right. All right, go ahead and type in the chat, social emotional. Okay, great, thank you, DG. All right, okay, great. So this is gonna factor into what income streams. I bet you never heard this. <laughs> this factors into how you choose your income streams. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about your income streams. Here are the different income streams that I think you can pursue using video. All right, I'm gonna go through each one of them, take about 10 seconds on each one. Number one, coaching. This is consulting. This is meeting with people one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. It's you walking them, walking with them, holding their hand, prompting them, encouraging them, kicking their butt, uh, you know, uh, inspiring them. You're walking with them like a coach would uh, or a consultant. Number two, and these are going to be similar. Some of these are going to be very similar. Educate to sell. Let's say you already have a product or service, but you want to educate people about that product or service. So let's just say you are a recruiter and you say, I want to educate people on how to choose the right recruiter. I want to educate people on how to make a better re resume. Let's say that you are a chef at a restaurant. You want to educate people on how to know, um, you know, uh, if a restaurant is good or not. And so you're going to do videos on that. And then of course they're going to show up at your restaurant because they're going to trust you as a thought leader in that space. Okay. You're going to educate in order to sell them your already existing service. That's more like a store or a shop or a, you know, consultant. Digital products are just video products you can make. My son and I made, and I'll put this in the chat here. Uh, my son and I, uh, and my, my son gets, um, my son gets 100% of the proceeds of this, but he and I made a course, a digital course at glovebros.com. And that digital course is about how to break in your baseball glove so that it's really game ready. And if you use a coupon code, nice glove, then you get, I think $8 off or something like that. And my son gets you know, all the money from that. He built a digital course with me. You can use video to build digital courses. And this is just a way for you to multiply your effect. And you can either charge people for those or you can use them as sort of a lead or part of your sales process or part of your services. You could say, okay, go take this and then call me when you're done with it. The fourth option for an income stream is to do a webinar where you do a pay, you can do a free or a paid webinar where you teach, 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 teach. And then you say, if you want more, then I have a coaching pro, pro, uh, program or I have a digital product, so on and so forth. That's a traditional webinar. A lot of us have been on this. This might be classified as one. I hope it's more like coaching than a webinar. The fifth is digital affiliates. That is where you're going to talk about an online product that you are an affiliate for. So you're going to talk about ScreenFlow. You're going to talk about uh, Zoom. You're going to talk about ConvertKit, and then they're going to have um, they're going to have discounts or um, uh, commissions based on people who sign up using your link. So if you go to takepermission.com/slash/getConvertKit, um, then I will get I think thirty percent of your monthly fee. So that's an exa another example of you're in a digital affiliate, so you can teach people how to use the service. When they sign up for that service, then you're going to get a commission from it. Okay. The sixth is product reviews. That's you are just going to go and you're going to review a product and then you can use an Amazon link and then you're going to get, or, or other different affiliate type links, and you're going to get a piece of that product. So it's not a digital product, but it might be, you might review a mattress, you might review a phone case, you might review, you know, whatever it might be, but you're going to review something and then you're going to get a commission from the sale of that item. The last one is I think the most difficult, which is to get an ad on your video or to find a sponsor for your program. So uh, those you have to have a pretty sizable audience for. So I want you to, in the chat, and then I'm gonna turn the, uh, my screen off and we're gonna go talk face to face here for a bit. But I want, you to talk, I want you to type which ones do you think, based on your personality, right? Based on your personality and your business goals, which one or two, don't do three, one or two do you think you need to add to your business? Okay, so go ahead and go ahead and write it out for me. Sorry about that, because um, I'm gonna have to go back and, and re-review these. Uh, so Grant, um, Grant is educate to sell. Okay, so rewrite that. If you put a number, I apologize, because um, I wanna be able to scroll back through these. I won't have the slide up to reference, okay? So everybody go ahead and do that. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And there we go. All right, great.
All right, digital products, educate to sell. Okay, great. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk through some of these. We're gonna talk through uh, which ones you wanna add and then how to do that um, based on your personality. So um, let's see here. Dan, can you unmute for me? Sure, yes. All right, awesome, wonderful. So Dan, tell me about what would you do on the webinars? What do you wanna teach about? Uh, one of the things I want to teach about is dream interpretation. Oh, you love it. For your dreams. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. And so where would you lead people after you had them on a webinar? Is it just purely educational or do you have a, a book or, or a program that you would walk them towards after the webinar? I haven't thought about that that much that, that far yet. Okay. So, um, the, Could be a, a small book, maybe a small book, uh, a book or oh, there's so many people that have books out already. I hate to create another book. <laughs> right. So part of the dream interpretation, um, is it, is it just as simple as you're going to say, here's the seven things that happen when you, you know, here's the seven most common things that happen when you have a dream and here's what they mean. And then you're done. Or what's the deeper, what's the deeper layer of that? Right. Without getting into be a psychologist. Right. Well, the deeper, the, the deeper uh, thing is that you don't, uh, the way I do a dream interpretation, I've learned that we have to connect with the, uh, God or the creator to help us interpret the symbols. We don't just go to a, a symbol dictionary. Right. And, and you also have to know what those symbols in the dream mean to the individual person. Right. So there is going to be some measure of individual conversation necessary. Right. But, but yeah. there are. But so, so could you sell sessions with you to do that? Is that something you're capable of doing? Yeah, that would work. Okay. All right. So I, I'm not very, I, I'm very personally interested in dream interpretation, partly because I'm just tired of having the same dreams and not knowing what the heck they mean. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would show up to that and say, Hey, we're going to talk about this for 30 minutes. Here are the seven most common uh, things that happen in dreams mm -hmm. and what they might mean to you. Boom. I'm there signing up. Right. And then at the end you say, but if you want to have an individual session with me, you know, it's $50, it's 30 minutes, you know, click here to sign up. Right. That to me seems very reasonable a process is that understandable yeah that's that sounds good mm -hmm. sounds good to me too so help me out will you <laughs> <laughs> all right it's not here's the other thing is sometimes like i'll wake up and my wife will be like how'd you how'd you sleep i go i had a really bad dream but it was really simple you know it was like mm -hmm. i had it all in the car and i just i, I could not uh, it was like i couldn't find our destination and some dreams are like, you need to interpret. And sometimes I'm like, yes, I feel like I'm not leading our family well. You know, like it was no interpretation necessary. Yeah. Some, sometimes you, can, you know it automatically. So what's that? Sometimes you, you, you understand what it means automatically. Yeah, you can right, right, right. Yeah, those, I'm, those I'm okay with. It's the other ones where I'm like, what is that? And why was my third grade teacher there? And yeah. yeah. So yeah. if awesome. you have something that keeps on repeating, 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 it's something you haven't learned yet. Otherwise, it would go away. Yeah, I'm, I definitely have not learned it yet because it I got a lot of repetition. So that that's a that's I think hopefully it would be a step you could see. Then the next question is where are you going to get people to go show up for the webinar? Where are those people? Right? Mm -hmm. Sense. That's that's the next that's the next stage of that. Uh, does that help, Dan? Yeah. Thanks. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Um, let's see here. So, Mike, why don't you unmute for me? Um, tell me about educate to sell. I know a little bit about your business, but what, how would you use educate to sell? Well, there's what I was thinking. There are a variety of, um, different types of services that professionals can use to, uh, create an authority or a presence in their marketplace. Okay make uh to increase their their presence or increase the uh the opportunities for themselves to be contacted by other organizations so make yourself more attractive right exactly right as a, as a job client a uh, job potential uh, applicant gotcha gotcha right. and so instead of you explaining that to every single client you have you would want to create something so that they get they can, they can educate themselves on their own time, right? Yeah, so if I create a variety of video series, maybe they just buy into the video series. So one of the things I was thinking about doing was creating a series of uh, interview, strategic interview 
our uh, interview strategies for individuals. They could click on those strategies and educate themselves on how to go about uh, the interview process. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And are these a lot of things you're teaching people, but you're just doing it one on one? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, l- let me clarify too. This is a really good uh, point I think Mike brings up is he's repeating himself. And I don't want you to hear me wrong when I say repeat, repeat, repeat it means you have to repeat the same thing to every person. Uh, you just have to be okay with creating content that other people can watch, but it's a lot of it's very, very similar, right? And so the, the goal of creating a lot of digital content is that you don't have to repeat exactly the same thing, but you can, you can keep having the core message and you sort of tweak it. Um, but if you find yourself saying the exact same thing to people, then you need to make a video. Like I'll have people call and say, hey, Andy, how do you do that? And I'll go, I made a video on it. Like, I love you. I appreciate that we're friends, but like go watch that video and then call me if you have questions, right? Because I spent an hour making that 15 minute video editing it and you know and so now just go watch that and get back to me and i don't think people were turned off by that i think they appreciate it because they can watch it on their own time or repeat or whatever um so so mike what do you think you would gain in your business or time or both um if you created those things i'd create a huge increase in my time Mm. allow me to do other things in my business on the the flip side of the coin work with the my clients my corporate clients gotcha so i work with the corporate client and with professionals on both sides okay gotcha well uh last time i checked they're, they're not making more time so if you can create more time that's awesome you know there's a certain things we do that create more time and that's that's great um Phil had asked about Zoom, is it free or subscription? The free version um, is limited to 40 minutes, but actually if it's just one-on-one, it's unlimited. You can go as long as you want if it's just one-on-one. If you have more than two people, then it is limited to 40 minutes. Um, and yeah, it's for a, for a basic license, which actually gets you a room of up to 100 people. Uh, I think it's 12 or $13 a month um, now. And then if you add the webinar portion on top of that, you can get a room with up to 100 people in it. And basically they're behind a wall you know, it's just you and then they, you can't share screens like this with all the people. Uh, but I love it. It's the most stable platform I've ever used for video conferencing. Uh, and and it, they keep making it better all the time. So it's really, really good. Um, yeah. All right. Um, and then, Mike, you had also mentioned coaching. Um, are, are you not doing digital coaching now? Are you not doing video coaching? No, I am not. And I'm incorporating it as we speak. Okay, awesome. Yeah, awesome. That's great to hear. Awesome. Um, all right, Cindy, did I see yours in here? Or are you hiding? <laughs> you can unmute if you like. Yeah, I'm up there. I've I've been doing a live weekly webinar for almost two years. Yeah. Uh, most of it was was looking for a um, platform in Zoom, I agree, has been the most stable. And I believe me, I've tried and <laughs> a, quite a few of them. Um, thank God yeah. for my following because they followed me. Um, but now I'm thinking about monetizing the replays. Sure. So I don't know what that looks like. Is that a membership site or? Yeah, I'm- so tell folks real quick what you do. Um, I teach traditional rug cooking, so you can see all the wool behind me. Um, It basically amounts to being an adult ed art teacher. Okay, yep, Um, great. And it's a fiber art where we pull small pieces of fabric, but I've been teaching it for about 17 years now. Yeah, yeah. Um, And I used to teach all over the country, and now I'm staying home. Yeah. And my first course did really well. But this webinar has been just kind of chunking along, and it's gotten a great following. Um, and I, I just want to kind of recoup, you know, some of the cost sure. because sure. I'm on the webinar platform, so it's about fifty-five a month with Zoom. Yeah. And then you know all the other stuff involved with hosting a website, yeah. you know. Well, the good news with that is you really can simplify it. I mean, I think the simplest way to do that, and and hopefully this will apply to some of the others, the simplest way I think to monetize and sell a video would probably be, I mean, the simplest, simplest 
simplest is uh, probably to take your video file and put it in Dropbox. Mm -hmm. And then when you create a button, the confirmation email that the you know people buy that from, whether it's a PayPal or Stripe, wherever it might be, when people purchase that product from you, um, you give them a link to that Dropbox file. That's drop dead simple. I prefer to use Thinkific as a learning platform. You can use a free version, they take 10% of whatever you sell. The $40 version, they take 5% of whatever you sell. The $80 a month version, they take 0%, but it gives you a lot more functionality. And with that, you could sell individual ones, you could sell groups of them, you could sell packages, you know, mm. uh, get these four and get a discount. You can do coupons. Like I, when I put in there glovebros.com, the course that my son and I created, you can create a coupon code. Nice glove is the coupon code. And that gives people a discount. And then I can track how many people use the coupon. I could say, hey, there's only 10 of those coupons. And then they're gone to create some, you know. And then you can also do recurring payments. Mm -hmm. And so you could sell them individually, Cindy. And then you could also say, um, you know, uh, if you want all of them, just join the membership. And then you could also add the videos all to, 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 to one course, if you will. Um, is that helpful? Yeah, that that's kind of the way the direction I was leaning was yeah. to probably maybe have the repay play available for a week until the next one comes. Yeah, and, and so I, I think the main thing, thing you got to figure out is, and I think you, the perfect person to ask this is your buyer, is say, right, you know, go to them and say, I'm thinking about doing this, right? Is that appealing to you, or what? what do you wish I would be doing with these? Or how would you like to, would you like to be able to have these offline? Would you like to be able to, you know, have access to them for a certain period of time and then ask me questions or whatever it might be, right? But I can definitely see you adding to that library and they're basically you're buying into the library just like we buy into Netflix. Mm -hmm. But then they also might have the ability to show up once a week for online coaching, right? And then it's like, what did you just sell? You sold everything you've already done in the past and right. then you're just, in an hour a week or two hours a week to coaching maybe do a morning and an evening session because you don't want people to go i can't meet it's in the morning it's why i have an evening session i can't meet it's in the evening it's why i have a morning session so you just added about two hours to your week but then you've got this recurring income coming in does that make sense yeah it does thank you awesome awesome uh think ific is the name of the program um there is the link for my think ific and if you use that link i think you get a free month of the premium if you use the take permission on slash get thinkific i think you get a free month of the free the premium to try that out which is a i think if you pay month by month it's like a hundred bucks but if you pay for a year at a time it's 80 dollars a month um or maybe a little less um so anyway um all right um i'm gonna say your name is it Klaus? how do i say your name c-l-a-e-s if anybody needs me to mispronounce your name, I'm your guy. I am really good at screwing up people's names. Okay, Klaus. Klaus, I was pretty close. You were close, yes. All right, okay. Klaus, how can I help? Um, well, I'm here looking at figuring out which, which revenue streams I wanna go down and um, what would I'm you actually coach doing- about? Coaching actually is your number one, what would you coach about? Well, I'm in the space of uh, web design and business development. Okay. And um, I'm looking at doing a course that would help people uh, who have no idea what to do for their next website, uh, figure out what all they need so they're not just going to some web developer who will sell them a nice song and dance, but they actually get what they need. Okay, okay. So I'm hearing, I wanna, I wanna teach people how to create websites that work and not spend money on things that don't, right? That's correct, whether, whether they end up building them themselves or have some, somebody build them for them, but right. basically be able to have a good blueprint to start with. Right, right. And the encouraging thing about that is once, this is a fascinating thing, a lot of times you will teach people, here's exactly what you should do, and they'll go, great do it for me. <laughs> right? Like, like, yes, I could do that, but please just do it for me. Okay. How much does that cost? You know, because a lot of people don't want to take the time to be educated to do, you know, and some of the stuff you're teaching might be a little higher level to where you go, listen, you can try to learn this, but 
it's probably better to hire it out, you know, but maybe you can also get people 80% of the way there. But I think there's real power and real trust in people who educate, right? So if you're willing to educate people, and here's my analogy of this, okay, uh, or metaphor is um, we've all seen, I think it's a miracle on 34th street or the Santa Claus, the little girl comes in and says, Hey, I want this toy. And he says, well, you, you can't get that at our store, but you go to this other store and get it. And at first the, the, uh, you know, and the mom was so impressed that Santa Claus had sent them to a different store. And at first the, the, the leadership is so mad. Oh my gosh, what is he sending people to the other store for? And then they start getting all these letters saying, thank you so much that your Santa would be, and we're going to, you're, we're a shopper for life, right? That is true. That's true for Santa Claus. That's true for us, right? Is if we are willing to say, you can do your, that yourself, right? Uh, instead of saying, uh, no, you have to use me. You're an idiot if you don't choose me. Or you act, oh no, you really don't want that. Like, no, I do. Like, I know I'm not, I'm not dumb, you know? Like if we respect people, we treat people like we want to be treated, then there will usually will be some measure of loyalty. But I would encourage you to consider having a system where you say, listen, you can do this, 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 and this, or you can work with me. And right. if you want to go do this, this, and this, good luck, God bless. But if you want it to be done fast and quick and guaranteed, I can help you with that as well. Totally up to you, right? Um, now, that's probably not in like a lot of sales books, but like that's how I do it. And I sleep pretty well at night other than my dreams. I can't figure it out, which Dan will help me with. Okay. So, Klaus, does that, does that help at all with maybe how you can step into that with coaching? And, uh, but I, I, don't, I don't really hear coaching in that. I hear a free class or a free workshop that might lead to some coaching. Would you right. agree? Right. Correct. Yes. Okay. Now, this, this is helpful. I appreciate okay. it. Yeah, no problem. Well, thank you for being here. And thanks for putting up with my, my American ignorance where I can't speak about other names unless they're Bob and Andy. So thank you. Uh, I'll mute you out. There you go. Um, let's see here. Greg, unmute for me. We're going to take a quick break after Greg. I'm going to tell you guys about something, then we'll go back to Q&A. So go ahead, Greg. So the thing that uh, kind of jumped out at me is educate to sell. And I think something I need to do is get into more live video and just kind of video presentations as a way to educate people. And as part of kind of a preview of my service offering or kind of an upsell to things. So it's just something I haven't, um, you know, started on yet and been kind of putting it off. So, so tell me why you put it off. Like what's, what's, what's the worst thing that happens if you do it? Well, um, you know, I, I get buried in the technical details. I'm a geek and I want to, I want to have a great backdrop, which I don't have right now other than this sure. bacon sign right here. Um, oh, no, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, but no, but lighting and uh, some of the technical details and stuff like that. I probably, probably put the cart before the horse instead of just getting what out are you there. Doing exactly. Uh, different, basically simplifying technologies for online business. So really coming up with automation and things like right. that. Great. Great. Well, I want to encourage all of you who are watching this right now that, that one of the best things you can do to have a really good background is to simplify it. Meaning like the smallest corner with nothing in it is probably the best background a lot of us have. And so it's not really about adding more. It's more about taking things away. It's harder to manage a, a wide background. Uh, it's really about having a simplified background. And so, you know, that can easily be overcome for sure. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about using green screens. Well, all a green screen is, is something that is a consistent color of green. So I actually went to Walmart and spent $2 and got a green screen because I went to the fabric department and got the cheapest, weirdest, I don't know what you would make out of this fabric. You would never want to wear it on your skin. But I, I, you know, and I bought this green, you know, piece of whatever. And so the other part of that is I know you want it to look good, but, and, and, and I hope you don't take this too personally, but a lot of us use, I want it to be really good as an excuse for just not doing it. Right. And so the other reality is, you're probably not going to do it really good in the beginning. Like I don't get mad at my daughter when she like tries to ride her bike and she's not good at it because she's six, you know, like she likes her, her training wheels. So what she'll eventually figure it out. But, but I don't expect her to be great at it in the beginning. And so my encouragement to you would be again, embrace sort of the anonymity of not a lot of people are watching this. Well then that's okay. Right. And the other thing is you're not selling video conferencing services, right? You're selling online, uh, time improvement, you know? 
So, um, so I would just encourage you to simplify and really make it more about your offer than it is about how you look. Does that make sense? Uh, but, but the, the only way you're going to get better at it is by doing it, period. And I'm guessing you have some people that already know, like, and trust you that you can do stuff with to kind of start to practice on, and then you can get better at it. I still make mistakes all the time uh, with my um, online video. I just do. I, just, I, I still make mistakes, but I'm going to keep doing it in spite of that. Because um, if I wait to do it perfectly, I'll just never do it, period. I'll ju I'll, I, I literally never do it. I, I didn't do online video for like five, probably four or five months once because I was like, well, I need to figure out this one piece of software. That was an excuse. <laughs> it was an excuse. It was a, it was a horrible excuse. And once I realized it was an excuse, I just started doing more video, you know? So I, I hope you hear that as an encouragement that, you know, the world needs what you have to offer. And if you're going to wait until you're ready, then the world's missing out. Right. So I hope you take that as an encouragement. Thank you. Sure. Um, all right. I'm going to take a quick pause. I'm going to share my screen. Um, I'm going to answer everybody's, uh, streams of income question. Okay. I'm going to do that. But first I want to tell you, and I'm going to take four minutes to do this. I'm going to tell you that I have created something where I'm not, I'm, I'm not making online courses where you automate and you do it on your own anymore. Uh, because frankly, uh, talking about sleeping well at night, I don't sleep well at night when people spend money with me and then they don't do the work. And so I'm not, going to tell you about this because I want you to buy an online course. I'm going to tell you about something because I want to be your coach. I want to be your mentor. Like I'm going to help you today. If you stick around and you want help, I'm going to help you. If I've already talked to you, I hope I've helped you. If I haven't stick around and ask me more questions, but I want to be your online mentor. I don't want to be a guy who sells you a course you don't take because literally that makes me feel guilty and it makes you not like me as much because you're like, yeah, I remember that guy I bought something from him and I never did anything with it. Like that's not a good, um, you know, that's not a good uh, feeling, right? So let me share this with you. And I'm just going to walk through uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and then I want you to, um, I want you to actually ignore the numbers <laughs> uh, on these because the numbers are not, the numbers are not what they are. Um, so what this is called the impact and profit with video program. And so whether you're a nonprofit, because I have a lot of pastors who buy this, um, that they want to just make an impact or people actually wanna make a profit. What I do is I teach people how to use video to make an impact or profit. Um, part of the training is that we will meet via Zoom just like this and we will set up your gear. We will literally set up your gear in your house together live and I'll talk to you about lighting and all that kind of stuff, okay? We'll do that live together to set that up. In addition, the other part of the training is we'll have deeper conversation about your business planning. So the little bit of advice I've given you here we'll go even deeper into how to actually go execute on that. So Cindy, we would talk about how exactly should we, how much should we charge for, and then how will we go ahead and execute on selling those replays. I give case studies. These are students of mine that I have uh, worked with, I've advised. And so uh, for instance, my friend Lady J, she talks about how to run a mastermind or a coaching or just generate leads using video. Uh, my friend Scott Savage talks about how to reach out to your church or grow your personal platform using video. And then my friend Jeff Brown, you can see there in the bottom left corner, he talks about how to run a monthly membership or a coaching program uh, using video. So I actually interview them. And so it's not just me talking and me saying, oh, this works. It's people I've coached and it's interviews with them. I also teach you how to use Facebook Live using a software called Ecamm Live, which is a great, great, great tool. I use it for all my stuff. Uh, I teach you how to always have ideas for your videos because that's one thing people struggle with is what should I talk about? Uh, I teach you how to write headlines that people actually will want to click on. This is a big deal. You might have great content, but if your headlines stink, no one's going to watch. No one's going to click. And then the last thing, uh, I'll teach you how to build online courses. I'll teach you how I edit my videos using a software called ScreenFlow. And if you don't have a Mac, the equivalent is Camtasia. And a lot of the things I teach you are very similar no matter what the software is, but that's called the expert instructor. Those are all included in this. The last thing is I will send you your camera. I will send you the lamp that you need. Okay. Like you'll get them, um, Friday. 
okay, if you were to get this today, you'll get them at your house on Friday, uh, thanks to the power of Amazon, all right? And so, you know, this is what I do. I teach people about this stuff. I teach people live, I teach people online. Um, and if you add up all those, it's about $1,500. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna do three payments of 197. And if you do one payment, I, I add on an extra one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching session. And so again, you're not buying an online program. You are not. You are buying into a mentoring relationship where I'm going to coach you and walk with you. And I hope that I've proven that I know what I'm talking about and that I will actually help you. As with everything I do, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you don't have to worry about that. And if I don't satisfy what I said I was going to, you get to keep the gear and we just walk away and I give you a refund. Okay, so I'm out money, not you. All right. Uh, the way you do that is you go to videoforyourbiz.com. That's videoforyourbiz.com. And if you order by 10 o'clock tonight, then I also include a tripod and some earbuds, which I love. Those are my favorite earbuds, um, which will help you with your video setup. Okay. And that's if you get it by tonight at 10. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you the replay of this call um, today um, and, another, and then the links to that. Uh, this is available all the time, but the, the, uh, the, the, the program, but these extras I, I add in for my live whenever I, I, I coach live. So that's a video for your biz.com. I'm going to put that link in the chat one time and then that's it. Okay. So that's my hard sales pitch on that. We will go back to talking to each other and there we go. So Phil, uh, let me unmute if you could. Um, you had asked about does Thinkific take ownership of the content? Absolutely not. <laughs> they do not. They don't get yeah, your content. That's, that's what cool. I was wondering about. If they take it or they can, the thing can go away and you lose a, your intellectual property. No. Uh, the owner of Thinkific or founder is a guy named Greg Smith. Um, uh, I think they're out of Toronto. Really good guy. Good family guy. I know him. I trust him. Uh, that's always been my resistance to using those platforms like Thinkific or Teachable is I want my, I want to be able to control my stuff. But what I figured out is that I really do control my stuff and I can download it. I can remove it if I need to, but what they do is they take care of all the stuff that I'm going to screw up. So, you know, I appreciate Cindy, your skill, uh, with fabric, but like Thinkific is going to do a better job than you are in building a membership site because that's all they do, right? So like, let's let Thinkific be good at what Thinkific's good at and let's let us be good at what we're good at. And Thinkific's really good at thinking about all the different ways to host and sell online content. So all of my stuff is on Thinkific. Like if, if you join my monthly coaching program, which is $40 a month, we meet one, one hour a week. I just take general questions um, about content. It's just called my content coaching program. We got about 10 people in that. If you join that, then um, you pay through Thinkific and it charges you every month. It's like a membership. If you get the video for your biz, the impact and profit with video course, that's through Thinkific. So when you join, it adds you to my email list with a specific tag. It processes the funds, you know, every month for three months. Or if you do the one payment, it processes that. And then you can mark different lessons I've finished. Uh, there's, it's, just, it's just really, really simple. It takes care of all that stuff for you. But fundamentally, I still own the content. I think if it can't do anything with my content. Okay. Um, what other questions do you have, Phil? You good? All right, awesome. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, Mark said, what's the easiest way to attract an audience to watch your content? Uh, be helpful. Like, do you know the guy that you know or the family you know that have a pickup truck? And like, everybody's like, hey, you gotta ask my friend Mike, he's got a pickup truck, he'll help you move your stuff. Like, Mike's popular because he's got a pickup truck, right? Or that nephew that you call because they're really good at technology, right? Or whatever that might be, or your Uncle Dan who knows about dreams, so you call Uncle Dan because he knows about dreams. Like, you know, people, people call me about Zoom. They call me about video stuff. Like, what camera should I use? And yada, 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 right? They ask me that, why? Because I'm helpful. And so the easiest way to attract is to start to help people without, you know, uh, paying for that necessarily. Uh, but it's, I'm going to go and tell you, like I made that video today of three reasons you should lock your Zoom room meeting. Um, anybody that uses Zoom and goes to YouTube will see that. Uh, I created a video called Why I'm Not As Productive as Michael Hyatt or Why I'll Never Be As Productive or something like that. And I put that on Facebook, it's gotten 2,000 views. 
in like four days. Now, I didn't think it was gonna get that much. It's got about 50 views on YouTube. So it's not really about the platform per se. It's about, you know, like where are the people who are, you're, who are interested in that? I have a video I did um, called something about 30 Evernote tips in 30 minutes. It's been viewed over 100,000 times. Now, when I uploaded it, do you think I thought that'll get viewed 100,000 times? No, absolutely not. I have other videos that have been viewed 20 times, <laughs> right? And it's just about, you gotta put stuff out there that's helpful and shows you know what you're talking about. And if you wanna change someone's life, if you wanna build a relationship with no like and trust, you have to change their day. So here's a little view into this. You know how I'm trying to convince you to join Impact and Profit with, with video? I'm trying to help you. Like that's it, I'm trying to show you that I'm gonna help you even if you walk away and don't spend a dime with me. I'm okay with that, right? But how do you get more people's attention? You help more people. Because the next time you're talking to someone and they say, you know, I thought about doing more video, you're gonna say, go to takepermission.com and just follow Andy Traub. He does these free calls, he's got a great course, you know, uh, you know he's super available, you can email him questions, uh, his courses are good, he's, he's more of a mentor than just an online course coach, you know, like, like that should be happening in your field, right, if you are being helpful. So, um, is YouTube great? Yeah, YouTube's the number two search engine in the world after Google. Um, you know, but is it crowded? Yes. And so I would say is get in the game. Is it crowded? Yes. So get in the game, right? Don't wait till it's not crowded. If it's not crowded, it's because it's incredibly unique or, um, no one cares, <laughs> right? So, um, I would say get in the game. We are still in the very early days of video, right? Like think about this, like Facebook turned on Facebook live in the last 12 months, like we're still early. And so you've got to get better at this. You've got to be using video. I have a friend who does a lot of work on LinkedIn, a lot of writing posts. He said a normal post he writes, he writes gets like 3,000 views and he'll get like one or two comments and not very much engagement. He did one video, it got like 15 comments and like 300 views. So it got one-tenth the normal views as a blog post, but it got something like, I don't know, 900 times as much engagement 800% as much engagement, like, like that's massive, right? If it's about engagement, right? I don't care if people see my stuff. I want people to engage with me. And so his thing is like, well, you, well, like he said, LinkedIn doesn't do a lot with video. I said, great, start doing video on LinkedIn because <laughs> they're going to, right? They're going to. So start now, be the guy that does a lot of cool stuff with video on LinkedIn before they started doing a bunch of cool stuff and maybe they'll say, hey, we saw you doing great stuff with video already. Let, we'll turn on this, this new feature for you because you're already using it on our platform. You think LinkedIn's not gonna do video? Of course they are, right? So get on there and do it, right? So hopefully that answers your question. I know that was a, it was a lot, but I'm swimming in this stuff all the time. So it's, it's, um, uh, it's uh, top of mind for me. Um, all right, I didn't answer everyone's question, so um, let's see here. Uh, do I use breakout rooms in Zoom? So what that means is I could say, okay, let's make a breakout room, and I can click breakout room, and I could automatically have it split, um, you know, half of you into one room, half in the other, and I could name that. Then we could come back together, and I could say, okay, breakout rooms again, and it'll automatically split you back to those same rooms. Or I can, I can manually move you to different rooms and then hit split, okay? I would hit a button and say, okay, bring everybody back. I think it gives a 60 second timer and it pulls everybody back into the main room. So have I used it? Yes. Um, you know, depending on your, your platform or your business, uh, those rooms can be pretty powerful. So for instance, if Mike got together a bunch of people that wanted a job in a certain sector, he could break them off and say, okay, go, you four go brainstorm on this, you four go brainstorm on this, you four go brainstorm on this, we'll be back in five minutes. So they go and they talk and it's a smaller, more intimate. And then they come back and say, okay, guys, what were your best ideas? All right, ladies, what were your best ideas? Whatever, right? So yes, you can use breakout rooms in Zoom and that's included. It's great. Um, yeah, great point, Phil, about them buying lynda.com. So they definitely are in the education game. Um, all right, uh, Vincent. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking for your question, Vincent. Uh, I don't see it. Feel free to unmute if you would like. Um, DG. 
Can you hear me, friend? I got you, buddy. Can you hear me? I can hear you great. How can I help today? Good to see you. Hear you. Yeah, good, good to see you too, man. And, and as long as unsolicited plug for you, I reckon, is, is I'm already in your course, right? In the yeah. Impact with Video course. And, uh, and it's great, man. It's very, um, I don't know, you have that, that way of sort of speaking the truth, like just plain language, you know what I mean? Like you just sort of simplify things for me when there's a lot of noise <laughs> in that space, you know? So the course has been super helpful for me. So I appreciate it. I've never, uh, I've never, I've never been accused of being too eloquent. <laughs> so, you and me I'll both, man. <laughs> um, thanks, man. How can I help? So, I don't have a specific question per se. I guess you know, I was, I've already learned a lot, and it's helped me kind of clarify my thinking um, on my business direction here. I might have mentioned to you previously. I'm starting a, a channel called Craft Brewery TV. Absolutely, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be featuring local craft breweries. Um, and local craft beers, mostly in Colorado and eventually beyond. And yep. the angle is to sort of be, have a show, you know, a live show and or a regular weekly show uh, that's going to be spun into a podcast and, and YouTube channel. Um, so that's kind, of, that's kind of the business to consumer side, right? The B2C with an angle towards using that to get my foot in the door and make connections with these breweries as, as businesses, right? On a B2B level um, right. to eventually help them with their video and social media needs, right? To try to help them do promotion. Um, so I've just kind of been thinking through those monetization angles of on the B2C side, you know, hopefully on the show front doing a little bit of uh, sponsorship slash Patreon slash, you know what I mean? Like monetize sure. the show on some small level. And, yeah. then, um, and then on the B2C side, obviously, you said this very well earlier. Think about like teaching. So through my connection with those breweries, like if I feature a specific brewery on the show, then I right. get to show them how they can make simple video assets, you know, to promote their breweries, how they can then promote that on social media and, and, and make a show and all those things. And then hopefully yeah. through that process, offer them, you know, consulting or services to help them do that. Yeah if they see the benefit in it. So absolutely. That's kind of my absolutely. thought process there. My, my holdup, just like when we had our, our private chat has been getting out there and starting to film, right? Getting out there and starting to produce video. And my hangup I think has been those two things connecting. So I have this fear of going in there into the breweries and filming and, and looking unprofessional. Right. And then, since down the road, my angle is to teach them how to do it, right? I'm sort of afraid of like, you know, pulling the trigger, you know, and, and right. you know, before I have my act together, you know what I mean? And Yeah, and I well, realize, I want to encourage you to under promise and over deliver. Yeah. So don't go in there and say, I'm going to make a feature document about your journey. And I'm going right. to need to talk to your, you know, your great aunt who raised you. And yeah, no, like go in there and say, hey, I just want to shoot your process yeah. tell me a little bit of the backstory or just i just want to shoot your origin story right yeah, how did you got exactly. to pick whatever is easiest yeah. for you to shoot right so maybe it's easier to shoot their process um whatever they're going to say yes to and be interested in and it's easy for you to shoot you know the origin story might be hard because that's just them sitting down talking right right and the last thing you can do is sitting down and them talking and then you do b-roll footage of them actually working right yes, which is sort of uh, my plan. Yeah. what's that that which was sort of my plan yes to do right to do interview based and then roll b-roll of the of the brewery yep. itself and of them working etc yeah and i don't think there's anything wrong this is why i probably wouldn't go after your biggest customer first right i would go after low-hanging fruit and say this is my vision for this i'm not going to charge you because uh i'm going to practice on you but I'm going to, I want to come in and I, I know how to, I know how to shoot great video. I love your product. Um, I'm confident I can tell your story. Um, and yes, this is a service I'll be doing later on, but early on, I just need people that are willing to say, yeah, I'll give this guy a shot. He looks legit. And out of it, you might actually get some really cool promo for your business because I'm going to actually create a video for you. Exactly. Well, you just under promise big time, right? Yep. Um, without, without looking like a total amateur, right? You know, <laughs> right. it's like, well, I just bought a camera. Can I come shoot video? No. It's like, you got to, you have to know, you have to be better than that. 
right? But, but I would just say promise something really simple to them. Does yeah. that help? Yeah, that totally makes sense. And, and, I, and I think that's, yeah, it makes sense. And it connects with the plan in my head. Uh, but then I'm not executing. Like, so that's exactly why I wanted to do the show aspect, right, of where I'm featuring them, but not where they're paying me to feature them. I'm featuring them as part of my show, right? Like as, right. you know, but again, not as a you service. Remember, that's version 3.0, yeah. right? You can't do 3.0 until you get 1.0 and then 2.0. Yeah. And so just define what is 1.0 and be happy with 1.0. Right. Yep. So I created impact and profit with video. I, pr I created that course as a bunch of separate courses over the last year and a half. And I finally mushed them all together and then I sold it, but I sold it without including the gear. And so people would have to wait to get the gear. And so as I've iterated now, I'm like, when you buy it, you get the gear too. Right. And people are like, Oh, okay, that's helpful. And the reason I bring that up is because it's like, I didn't know that was a problem until it was a problem. Right. I would not have anticipated that because I was afraid of charging a higher price because I didn't want to scare people away. But now I recognize, well, if I can teach people how to, you know, become an online coach and they, they make $50 an hour, all they have to do is do 10 coaching sessions and it pays for itself and they have the gear. Right. So this is where I, I figured out there were problems after they were created, but you're anticipating problems that don't even exist yet. Right. So my point is, um, the only, I just, here's, here's what I would say. Read Seth Godin's blog post today about fear. Just read Seth Godin's blog post today about fear. Okay. SethGodin.com slash blog, whatever it is. Yep, we'll it nails why we don't do things when fundamentally we know that they're not going to be perfect anyway. Right. Absolutely. So, so, uh, and, and the bottom line is I'm frustrated because I know that you can do a great job at this, but you're nowhere near 2.0 because you're not willing to do 1.0, yep. right? So I want 2.0, I want 3.0, but dude, I want 1.0 more than anything else because that's going to get you closer to the next two. Does that make sense? Yeah, perfect, man. That's, I appreciate that. Stay, and, uh, stay focus on 1.0. 1.0 is good enough, right? Yep. Sounds good, right. man. That's, that's exactly why I come talk to you. Appreciate it. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks for taking that with, you know, the love that I intended. Um, yeah. And the other part of that is I, I laugh at this, but I look back at, I think I have one over there. I won't go get it, but I have like a Palm Pilot I bought for $5, like a used one. And I remember, and the reason I keep it is because like that was an amazing machine. I, I bought one for $300 when they came out and it blew my mind. And, and now we laugh at that thing, but that was somebody's 1.0. Right. And now we have iPhones and we have these amazing, amazing, amazing devices, but they all had to start with something. Right. And so we have to start with something. Right. And that's what I feel like I'm good at. I'm good at making sure you start at something. Right. So start. Okay. We'll do. Thanks. All right. Um, okay. Well, I think we're good. Um, anybody else have any questions? I'm, I'm, I'm monitoring the chat. Uh, Andy, do you have any questions? You're the best name here, so I want to honor your, your time here, Andy. Uh, not specifically. Um, I did come here kind of looking for some ideas for, you know, getting some streams of income ideas. Um, and I love to do video. So I've been having, or I've been thinking about doing some tutorial videos um, for WordPress since I'm a you know, WordPress developer. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's good. I think the challenge for anyone who can do that is, are you going to do it so they don't need you or they're going to do it? They're going to do it. So they do need you. We're going to do it. So it's like, I'm going to get you this far and then you're going to need me after that. Right. I'm fine just doing stuff so people don't need you. Like that's fine, but you don't want to replace yourself with YouTube videos. Right. right. At the same time, if you made 15 really good videos and you put them online, like, you know, and people found you that way, and there it's the right kind of client then you know if you said hey if you have more questions about this or if you are at this level but you want to break to this level then i'm your guy you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you just want to be able to point people back so i teach people as much as i possibly can but at some point it gets to the point where it's like listen you know all this stuff and you're not doing it which is why you need a mentor that's me now buy this thing because that's what i'm going to do right so 
Um, you just have to figure out how you can walk them towards the water. You can't make them drink, but you want to walk them towards the water with your videos. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. The other thing is I would definitely focus on if you have multiple clients, I would definitely recur, like focus on some recurring revenue by saying, I'm going to create videos as an like, online education for you to do it yourself. Unless that buys, unless that like cuts into your profit. Like if you got something you really don't like to do, maybe it's better to just make videos for them to do it themselves than for you to do it. But then again, that's up to you and your business model. I don't know. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Awesome. All right, everybody, thanks for being here today. Uh, if you have further questions, you know how to get a hold of me. I'm going to go ahead and process this recording and send it out to you. Um, again, the fast action bonuses of the tripod and the extra earbuds uh, will be going away at 10 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock central. Uh, I'll send you a link to all that as well. If you have other questions, I'm available, okay? Uh, so God bless. Keep shipping. Remember, the world needs what you have to offer. And um, thanks for your time today and your attention. Uh, thanks, Andy. All right. No problem. We'll see you guys.